morning, John! I, I, nope. I'm sure by now everybody's super missing Craig, so I... I don't miss Craig. Did I ask you? I don't care. I mean, do you know what we're doing right now? Yeah. You're doing a thing where you do like 20 different Craig uh -huh. things and everybody's gonna yeah. be so yeah, happy I mean, this, they miss Craig so this much. This is one of those things that we're doing... Get dang it! Yeah. Okay, I... Uh, beard, I guess? I got to do a beard. That, that's better, right? You Are you more comfortable now? I'll, I punch an eagle. Temporary inexplicable shirtlessness. That's a solid number of craggy things, right? But you know, it definitely isn't a thing. Explosion Wednesday. I don't even know if it's Wednesday. But that shouldn't matter, because Explosion Wednesday never really was a thing, and it certainly isn't now. If a thing isn't a thing, then there's no reason not to do it, just because it's not exactly the thing that the thing is. This is not working. Ah. Ah. So you want to know about the coolest? Science explosion of all time. You're probably thinking to yourself, of course, it's the Cambrian explosion. Duh! But the Cambrian explosion wasn't a literal explosion. The Cambrian explosion is absolutely my favorite figurative explosion, but my favorite literal explosion, that happened in the 1950s. At that point, the US government was doing a ton of nuclear tests. They were blowing up nuclear bombs in the southwest of America and also in other places, and people were starting to get worried about the effect that all of the radiation from those like nuclear bombs might have on people. Correctly, by the way, good on people for being concerned about that. So they started doing experiments to see if they could blow up nuclear bombs underground and contain all of the fallout under the earth, none of it going into the atmosphere. In 1957, they were doing one of these underground tests. They uh, drilled like a 500 foot deep well and uh, put like a concrete casing around that well, lowered the payload into it, and then on top of it, there was a bunch, I'm not b getting into all the details here, but on the top of it, they welded it like a 2,000 pound iron disc, like a, basically a manhole cover, a very heavy, big manhole cover. And they welded it in place on the top of that well. Some engineers did some calculations and they determined that that manhole cover was not going to be enough to contain a nuclear bomb and it would fail. Uh, it would break and that like, but they did it anyway, I guess, just to make sure that they were right. that. It was not going to work. So they did, and that cap popped off the well going over 125,000 miles per hour. For a comparison, of the fastest bullet goes about 2,600 miles per hour. That's very different from 125,000 miles per hour. They don't actually know how fast it was going because it was only captured on one frame of the high-speed camera that was filming it. If they'd had two frames, they could have figured out exactly how fast it was going, but just one frame told them that it was going fast enough that it was only captured one time. So minimum speed, 125,000 miles an hour. At that speed, it would have been the fastest man-made object ever at that point, and also the fastest man-made object ever on the Earth still. Some space probes have now gone faster than that, but on the Earth, nothing has ever gone that fast. That is the fastest thing that's ever happened on this planet. It was fast enough that it would have punched through the atmosphere and been in space in less than nine seconds. And there's some thought and debate about whether this manhole cover was in fact launched into space. <laughs> some people think that as it pressurized the atmosphere ahead of it, as it was heading through the atmosphere, the atmosphere would have gotten so hot that it would have disintegrated that piece of metal faster than in eight seconds. Basically, the situation here is that we built a gun out of the Earth and instead of like a little bit of like gunpowder to push the bullet forward, it was a nuclear bomb. And we shot a piece of iron out at the fastest anything has ever gone on Earth. That's what happened. We will never know if it vaporized on the way out of the planet's atmosphere or if it's uh, still out there floating around in space going real fast. But that, my friends, is my favorite actual explosion. Hey, if you came to this video just to see me or to hear about fast things and you were really confused by the first part, that might be because you don't watch Wheezy Waiter, which is one of the most interesting and cool channels on YouTube. Uh, you can check it out at youtube.com slash wheezywaiter. Subscribe there. Find out all the amazing and peculiar things that my friend Craig does. Craig, I will see you when you get back from paternity leave.